Hi everyone, happy Wellness Wednesday. Anne Louise Gittleman here on the Cinco de Mayo. And this is a wonderful and propitious, great word, occasion because my books have arrived. My hardback books have arrived. Radical Longevity, The Power Plan to Sharpen Your Brain, Strengthen Your Body and Reverse the Symptoms of Aging. So if you haven't gotten all your gifts yet, if you haven't pre-ordered the book, go to RadicalLongevityBook.com. Now this book is not just for those of you that want to stay younger, longer, and grow old gracefully. It's for those of you that want to avert immune problems, heart problems, brain problems, bone problems, hormone problems, skin problems, hair problems, and sexual problems. So it's a book for everybody at every age and stage of life. I encourage you to get the book, which took me three years to write. So this is a labor of love. It's my 37th book, and I'd love you all to get a copy today. Go to RadicalLongevityBook.com. And now, my friends, we're going to pop into your questions. We're going to just dive right in there. And by the way, since it's the Cinco de Mayo, it's Stuart Gittleman's birthday. Wish him a happy birthday in the comments, please. Stuart is my significant brother. He puts all this together. He's the glue that, that stays behind. The First Lady of Nutrition, he's been working for me nearly 25 years, and I know that all of you want to know if he's married. He's happily married with three children, so there you have it. Wish Stuart a happy birthday, please, in the comments. Okay, first question goes to Anne. Einkorn flour, good for you even though it has gluten. Never hybridized non-GMO grain. Yes, if you can tolerate it, it's fine if it's non-GMO. I personally like bread that is made from none other than chestnut flour. That's my very favorite. Almond flour is too high in oxalates and it's very tough on the kidneys. Debbie Clem. Hi, Debbie. We send you a lot of love. Learned about toxins from anything that goes onto the skin. What are the most dangerous ones to look for on labels? Anything with the parabens is very dangerous because it's an estrogen byproduct, an estrogen mimic or an estrogen, xenoestrogen, or false estrogen. The problems related to parasite issues always interest me. What symptoms do you watch for to catch a parasite infestation? Parasites can affect anything from your skin, skin conditions that don't clear, to um, insomnia, to an inability to wake up in the morning, to an inability to go to sleep at night, to problems with bruxism, which is grinding of the teeth, to issues of depression, to issues of hair falling out, to issues of bloating, gas, diarrhea, intermittent constipation and diarrhea. It covers a gamut of all issues. Parasites are not exclusively in the intestinal tract. They can affect the brain, they can affect the eyes, they can affect the liver. So whenever you have an insoluble or an insolvable, it's been a long day, insolvable, unsurmountable issue, always look for parasites as the underlying cause. And I have a good book for you besides Radical Longevity. It's called Guess What Came to Dinner. Can there be, <coughs> can there be any lasting debilitating effects from having parasites? Yes, you can have anemia, you can have autoimmune issues, you can have scleroderma, you can have all kinds of issues if they're not checked. So they're very toxic to the immune system, toxic to your entire body, toxic to the reproductive system, and toxic to your inability to remove waste. Diana is doing vinegar baths. Diana, hello, hello. I know you're in Florida and we wish you well. Since she has fatty liver and Hashimoto's, anything else she should be taking besides Bile Builder, Mag Key, Vitamin D, etc. Now with Hashimoto's, you want to make sure that there's no dental infection creating an infectious problem in the system. So you want to check your teeth, number one. Number two, two tablespoons a day of black seed oil. Very helpful for Hashimoto's. Get a good tasting black seed oil like North American Herb and Spice because I think the company has a lot of integrity. And I would take two tablespoons a day. Somehow you can mask the taste with a drop of honey or, or maybe a little bit of maple syrup because it's not the best tasting. But it will cheat everything, including death. It is the most important oil I know of. It's very high in good omega-6s, very good for the skin, the hair, the nails, and it's very good for any autoimmune issue, especially Hashimoto's. So black seed oil. It is also, this is for Debbie Clem, an antiparasitic. So it used to be called black seed in the Middle East. We now know it's black seed oil and it's very good for anything that ails you. Karen, how much can menopause influence my weight loss? An entire amount. Everything slows down because of estrogen dominance. 
I can't seem to budge the 30 pounds I've been carrying. Well, welcome to the club, Karen, because it's true with many of us. You have to check your thyroid. You have to make sure you're taking some thyroid key and bile builder. Check your adequate iodine levels because iodine is very important during the menopausal change of life, so to speak. So that's what you need to do. It's usually thyroid related, a tamped out of metabolism. The metabolism goes south because of problems with estrogen overload. And you need to definitely check your iodine levels with an iodine loading test or a patch test that I write about. And Liz can, in the notes, she can tell you how to do the patch test. Barbara, I have really bad anxiety. Will this influence your physical health? Yes, indeed. Anything that, where your body is over anxious will affect everything, your heart, your lungs, your entire system, including your digestive tract. What can I do to help my anxiety? Anxiety runs in my family, so I'm a very good person to ask about that every day in order to control what I call my high strongness because years ago they never called it anxiety they used to say she's highly strong high strong so I'm high strong I'm exceptionally high strong you have to take some GABA and GABA is an amino acid which quells the the uh, um, your brain's necessity to overreact it's very calming for the system very good for anxiety and even irritating anxiety which is what sometimes I get myself Anya, what are the best brain-boosting vitamins for toddlers? Oh, we've got a brain-boosting toddler for somebody that's four years old. What's available as a liquid? He's already taking vitamin D and fish oil. The best brain-boosting vitamin for a toddler is an oil called Bio Oil. It's called um, Bio Oil from Body Bio, and it's, it's a combination of omega-3s and omega-6s. You need a little omega-6 for the brain because the phospholipids give them a little less of them. It'll be the best thing you ever did. A teaspoon of less than for a four-year-old, and I know who Anya is. This will be really good for little Troy because he's an absolute doll. Linda, is it important to take iodine? Yes, it's the most efficient mineral we have besides silica, besides sulfur, besides boron. So iodine is exceedingly important because it's what your thyroid thrives on, and it's what is usually deficient if you've got too much fluoride, chloride, or bromide in your system. I'm trying to get through all this for all you lovely ladies. Neam says, what is your input on using Ozempic alongside Fat Flush? I don't recommend it. Debbie, just wondering if using my chi machine would be another option for lymph massage or the Fat Flush Pump Massage. I love the chi machine because it helps to move the lymph, so that's a yes. Zinc Picolinate or Gluconate, asked Sylvie. Gluconate, yay, Gluconate. I love Gluconate and anything chelated. 45 to 50 milligrams a day, Sylvie will keep anxiety away. That's another good one for anxiety. Angie, I'm in menopause. My hair is falling out. What can I do to make it stop? More iodine, please, for your hair. Your hair is connected to your thyroid. You also need a, a lot of B vitamins that are methylated. Dolores, what is it now that I'm older? When I gain weight, it goes to my stomach because that's the favorite place for older people. It's you, We love to have the middle age weight gain, and it just seems to correlate there because of the cortisol effect. Rachel, do you know of any natural sunlight, sunless tanning lotions? I do not. Does anybody know of any natural sunless tanning lotions? Beth, I started phase three of Fat Flush today and feel swollen because she had white potatoes. Could this be a sign I shouldn't eat white potatoes? Probably, so I go to a sweet potato. Barbara, is there anything I can take to help with spring allergies? Nettle tea for spring allergies, the best thing ever. Two cups a day keeps spring allergies away. Nettle tea for spring allergies and extra adrenal. Adrenal is very important for any kind of respiratory health issue. Elise, despite being attentive to the fat flesh plan, my weight loss seems to have stalled. I haven't added any carbs yet. What could be the problem? Your metabolism, my dear, you need help with your thyroid, which is the iodine or thyroid key and a little bile builder. Lynn, I'm on day nine of the two weeks with the shakedown. I've filed it with no deviation. I've only dropped two pounds. Any suggestions? I'm a bit frustrated. So if you haven't lost on the smoothie shakedown, up your weight loss formula to six a day rather than three and up your GLA to twice as much as what's recommended. Sometimes when you're a little older, it's more difficult to lose weight than when you're a little younger because of the slowdown of the thyroid. And I think that's a theme that you're going to hear me say again and again. <coughs> Let me take some water. I just did a podcast today with Gabby Reese. If you're a fan of Gabby Reese, raise your hand. She's my new biggest fan, and I'm one of her biggest fans. She's an absolute doll. So I'm a little hoarse because I've been doing two hours of nonstop talking. Okay, Val, I've been diagnosed with hyperparathyroidism. 
but I don't meet the criteria for surgery. Any ideas on changes? You have to take something called uh, COM plus, comma plus. You call Lizzie Unicky, she can help you with that. Leanna Wade, here's a conundrum, hoping for some guidance. She's 57, past menopause, lives a high stress life as we all do. She's gained 30 pounds in the last six years. My digestive system does not work well. I'm guessing my biggest culprit is cortisol. So to balance cortisol, you need chromium, a weight loss formula, six a day. Weight loss formula, six a day, especially if you're not losing weight, and it'll help with the cortisol balance. Elise, I had half a cup of quinoa with my dinner. Within 30 minutes, I felt so tired. Is that an insulin response? No, it's an allergy response. Quinoa is very high in lectins, which can be food provocative. It could be a food provoking sensitivity. So I would just ax the quinoa. And instead of quinoa, have a little sweet potato or have a little yam or have a little uh, half a cup of peas or even some squash. I'm not a big believer in grains. I'm not a big believer in quinoa. Sorry. Roberta, I have the beginnings of a UTI. Uh, I'm currently taking D-mannose, probiotic zinc, C and D. Thanks. I stick to the D-mannose. It's the most important thing for a UTI. Lisa, can anything be done to reduce an or eliminate stretch marks. For those of you that have stretch marks, the most important thing is a little cocoa butter and more zinc. Think zinc for stretch marks, antivirus, and good for the for good for the bones. So this is a zinc issue. Specific food plan, a high zinc food plan like the fat flush plan or the radical longevity plan or radical metabolism. Supplements is zinc, 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 my dear. Not, not collagen, but zinc. And more vitamin C in the form of Vitality C, one to two scoops a day. Liz, I remember hearing about telomere length being related to longevity. Does this have any credibility? Yes, indeed, you want long telomeres. Those are the little caps at the end of the chromosomes. The best way to do that is with one of our products, which is called the uh, Ultra H3 Plus, very important to raise the, 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 to lengthen the telomeres and keep them intact, and a little astragalus and a little resveratrol. So on that note, all the answers to many of your questions can be found in this new book, this Radical Longevity book that I want you all to pre-order today. Radical Longevity to your vitality, to your resilience, to your grace, to your goodness, to your health. Till 120, my friends. That's it for me. See you next time.